I was shamed by my doctor for having multiple sex partners. We live in an age of shaming ham for how we look, what we say, who we are. It's so relentless, especially online, you might even say we've become desensitized to it. And yet, when the judgment comes straight from an MD, he one person you trust implicitly with your well-being t shocks you to your core. The health consequences can be devastating, even deadly. Enough. With the help of women brave enough to share their stories and be photographed, WH urges you to speak up and join in as we rally for change. Stop shame. Emily Linden, 29, had never even been intimate with a boy when her middle school classmates cast her in the role of school slut. The unwarranted label stuck, and while she eventually grew to expect such random cruelty from peers, she never thought she'd hear it from a doctor. But there she was, at her college health center for an annual checkup. She'd been candid on the medical questionnaire. Number of sexual partners, 10 plus. Vaginal, oral, or anal sex? Check, check, check. Safe sex? Always. STI tests? Up to date. Number of partners since last visit? One. One? Are you sure? Asked the doctor. Positive, said Emily. But are you sure? The MD pressed, waving Emily's health history in her face. Only one? As if someone as slutty as me just had to be lying, says Emily. Deeply mortified and eager to avoid a repeat, Emily began shying away from total honesty about her past at future checkups and put her well-being at risk by missing timely STI and pap smear tests. Emily is not alone. Similar scenarios play out thousands of times every day in doctors' offices around the country. Women show up looking for answers and L.Y. to leave coded in a film of shame. Nearly 60% of females say they've been judged by their doctors, per a study in basic and applied social psychology. A new women's health survey puts that number closer to 85%. The results are alarming. Doctor shaming can make women less likely to seek care be truthful about their behavior, or follow medical advice. Even more troubling, it can lead to faulty diagnoses and treatments. For more on the dangers of doctor shaming and other stories from women who've been through it, pick up the September issue of Women's Health, on newsstands now. Plus, take a stand against doctor shaming by sharing your own experiences on social media using the hashtag Stop Shame.